Welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley. What you are looking at right now is the Morpheus Drop Tune. The Drop Tune is a guitar detuning effect. Uh, it detunes your guitar up to three and a half uh, half steps below the standard tuning. It also has octave built in and octaver, meaning basically your original tone plus the octave below. Uh, this is a digital pedal. It uses a new proprietary pitch shifting algorithm to make it, um, well, it's, it's basically intention is to keep you from buying guitars that you keep in alternate tunings. Uh, if you own one guitar and you'd like to play songs in multiple different drop tunings, you can buy this pedal instead of having to get your guitar reset up every time you want to play in a different tuning or keep multiple guitars in multiple dropped tunings. Let's just uh, check this out and I'll, well, we'll show you what we mean. Uh, let's listen to the clean tone of this guitar uh, through a, an orange rocker 30 first. Now you'll notice that uh, I've got this little musical scale right here and the number one is lit up right here. So let's engage the effect. Again, here's, a, here's just an E. This guitar is in standard tuning. And now press this. I'll play the same exact chord. Okay, now you can hear there's a little tonal coloration. There's maybe a little weird sort of digital artifacting going on. But really what this pedal was intended to do was to play drop metal. I mean, most people who are playing sort of primarily clean guitar styles uh, aren't typically going to be playing down in drop C, for example. However, if you're playing metal, you probably will. Let's flip to the humbucker on this guitar and switch over to the dirty channel on this Rocker 30. Now, here's the effect off. So, that's effectively bringing the guitar to E flat. How low can we go? See, we're, we're a full octave below here. It skips a few steps because, well, it gets a little wacky. But if we're listening to it, you know, we're just playing octave lines. If you play chords with an octave line, you know, it starts sounding a little muddy. That's actually still pretty clear. That's because I've got the effect off. That's actually not terrible there. This pedal tracks exceptionally well. And let's uh, toggle down to the last setting here so I can show you. Uh, what I mean. This is an octaver effect, so we've got our original signal and our octave drop signal. Listen again as I bend these notes against each other.
That sounds pretty excellent. All right, now let's uh, check out this button over here. Uh, this center button, when the effect is off, allows you to toggle back up through the scale. And when the effect is on, it becomes a, uh, a toggle, sort of like a quick on-off effect. So it's basically almost like a quick momentary bypass. So let's turn the effect back on. And if we hold down toggle, kind of cool thing to do sort of mid-solo. Pretty neat. All right, so let's uh, just take a quick look at the back of the Morpheus drop tune. You can see we've got a trim control here, uh, and that's basically to adjust for the output levels of different um, uh, different, uh, well, different output levels. It's important that you adjust this trim uh, to match your guitar's output level because it will affect sort of the, the, the reproduced pitch toned note. Uh, you want to basically get your input level just hitting the yellow line uh, on this little input level meter here and then you'll have a sort of a, uh, your pedal calibrated. Uh, you've got a 12 volt input, so that's kind of a, pre pre a relatively proprietary input. You can't really power it off of, um, you know, a Polytune or a, or a TU2. Mono in, mono out. There's a little mini USB jack back here for firmware updates. Now, the, this pedal, as you've been listening to it right now, uh, was updated with the version 1 Morpheus Drop Tune firmware update. So this is post-update pedal. The update really improves the sort of more extreme drop tunings. Before the firmware, they were a little muddier than they are right now. And so the way that we have it now, it is actually pretty, uh, uh, it's, it's a lot crisper than, uh, than it is out of the box. So when you get your Morpheus drop tune, make sure that you go to the, uh, it's, it's Morpheus effects. Um, they've got an old site called Morpheus drop tune, but you can't find the firmware update there. So go to morpheuseffects.com and get that uh, installer. The only bummer about the firmware installer is that it's a, it's a Windows executable file, meaning if you've got a Mac and you want to do a firmware update to your Morpheus drop tune, you're going to need to, to borrow somebody else's computer or install boot camp or some other chicanery. Um, anyway, so for $200, you can basically have guitars in multiple drop tunings. Pretty excellent for people playing uh, in new metal cover bands or new metal. Uh, and sort of don't want to have to get their guitar set up every time they play in a drop tuning. You've been watching GearWire.com, and I am Owen O'Malley. See you later.